Hey, thanks for tuning in to Tech Tyro. This is Riley speaking, and this is part two of the 3D perspective video. Um, I am your illustrator rep here, and I'm going to start it off by letting you guys know um, I highly, highly stress getting reference material when it comes to doing your illustrations and stuff like that. So, um, this guy aside, um, when it comes to looking for stuff, just hit up the Google machine, grab something. I just grabbed a heart here, saved it to my desktop, and uh, drag it over to refer to it. And then, so what I did here was I already got my, my pixels done. Uh, as you can see, it looks beautiful. And I'll put this guy off to the side. What we're going to do right now is make it 3D, uh, give it some depth. So we're first going to start by selecting all this, moving it off to the side. Selecting the side points and do do do. This will make sense in a minute. Get these guys down. Duplicate off the side here. Line them up. And we'll give it two layers off to the side. And before we do that, you're going to hold down Alt, drag it over, and hold down Shift. Shift will drag it uniform. See? Beautiful. Uh, okay, so we'll make this together. We'll group it, not with that. Uh, Control G. Hit up our perspective grid. And right now we've got our perspective tweaker, so we can tweak our grid, make it more level. Uh, we'll keep everything else the same. We've got our ruler set up and all that. Uh, and use our perspective selection tool. Select all these guys, and we're good. Uh, we'll put it on the orange plane right here. Look at that. Quick and easy as that. And then from here, we'll hit up our blue. Select these guys. Put it on the blue plane. Kind of line it up on the same grid. Got there. A boot. And then now we're going to be wanting to move in a different depth. So seeing as we've got it on the plane, it works, but it's not going to be the same as um, placing it on the heart. So right click, perspective, release with perspective, put it on the orange plane. Now, oh, now when we got this guy, we put it on the orange plane, move up and down like that. See, it goes in this depth. And uh, it'll adjust all the angles for you on the spot. So right now it's working within two zones of crazy. Um, from here we will take uh, our perspective selection, move these guys back, attach those guys there, move these guys back, attach them there. This is the quickest way you can do it probably. Probably get this guy over here. Ah. When it comes to perspective drawing, this is probably the cheapest way you can do it, and the fastest. Although it might not look as clean as you want it to. Just drop that behind the planes here. Next, line these guys back. Try to remember where you place them. Because it can get confusing where they fall. Uh, there. Right there. Slow and steady.
Move this guy over. I want these guys to be back. Control shift left bracket. As you can see, they're all lining up pretty well. And maybe a secondary tweak option. Drop this one back. And we'll also bring that guy up here because they're the same color. So now we've got somewhat of a grid going. Um, just keeping it within reason here. This is, like I said, the fastest way to do it. When you want to select it all, bring it up here. You can kind of get a better idea just where all these points line up. Get that one down. Bring this one up here. Worst case scenario, you can always resize it. There, up there, and there's a gap under here. Just with the perspective, you would have a lower base, I think, as it sticks out. Beautiful. our 3D heart um, with two planes. What we'll get here now is we'll turn off our perspective grid so we can see it better. Um, and a funny way you can do to kind of make it stand out better is give it a stroke. So where's our, there's our stroke, appearance. We will go black stroke. Give it a uh, 0.5. Now you can kind of see the, the grid as it goes. Um, look down here, tweak our lines up a little bit more. Make sure our snaps are turned off. Yeah, our snaps are turned off. Oh. Oh. And put that up. Keep these guys. Move them up. It's all just fine tuning. Bring these guys up. Or just bring these guys back. go down the steps. reason why I keep putting these ones back is because I don't want them to go over top of the main heart. So I'll put those back. Another way I'll just go about doing it is going these guys. Top, bottom, that would look better. Uh. And 
that screen that just comes up, that's an isolation editing tool. That only happens if you double click on it. Right here, it's okay if you edit it a bit. She'll still look the same. Slow and steady. We'll take this guy, drop it back. Nope, that was the wrong one. There you go. This, drop it back. And so on and so forth. So it's a cool perspective trick, and you can you can kind of cut some corners, uh, avoid some work, but. There's still some tedious tinkering, especially when it's hard to snap the corners together. When it comes to stuff like that, after you make your image in Illustrator, it's easy to refine in Photoshop. And also for this tier that we've got going on here, we can do our own line with our pen tool. And if you just fill in the blanks, you got your points already hit. And then just make new points as you go. So instead of having to worry about playing with another perspective, you just use your pen to fill in those spots. So, uh, hope I've helped out as much as I can. And There you have it, your own 3D heart. Look at that, beautiful. All right, well, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope I answered some questions there. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about 3D perspective, feel free to hit us up on techtyro.com. Uh, our contact information is listed under contact, I believe. Um, and if you have any requests for new things to learn on Illustrator, if you have new tutorials that you haven't been able to find and you kind of want some answers, uh, feel free to hit us up there too. I will do my best to investigate it and then answer them back for you. So uh, thanks again for tuning in to techtyro.com and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials.